hey guys welcome back to another video if you guys are new here welcome back i went to my pools and i bought one of the um ikea drawer dupes now i have heard um rumors that this is not as good as the ikea i get it but i'm not going all the way to ikea ikea is not around the corner it's not a jump and a skip I'm not saying i can't drive there it's like maybe 45 50 minutes but i'm not i ain't got time and you know hopefully this will last me so i bought one just to see how i would like it now i am disappointed because they don't have black i prefer black black is my favorite color and i prefer black i don't want white so what i'm gonna do is once i put this together i'm gonna put contact paper on it finished building the drawers from Michaels and I was unaware that this thing was going to be so big I thought I was going to be able to squeeze it in this little corner right here but I can't it's big and I was planning on getting another one and I ain't gonna be able to do that because this is big so I was able to push it underneath my desk barely i did the best i could with the building this i don't like building anything i don't like gluing nothing and i mean it didn't take me long it took me two days the reason why it took me two days because like i started on it late and i had to go to work the next morning but i was determined to get done friday so yeah um like i said in the future i will be getting some contact paper making it black but right now i ain't got time i was thirsty and i just wanted to see what some products would look like so i had put my a few setting sprays up here so we are going to be doing a organizing video um i'm going to declutter and organize um everything that's on here and my plan is to transfer everything over here we're gonna go ahead and declutter so my original plan was to put like my foundations and my concealers in here and whatever else i needed to put in here but that's not going to work out for me anymore because I need to put all of my bronzers, blushes, and highlighters in here because the way I have my bronzers and blushes, the way I have them organized is overflowing. So they need to go in here and I got to figure out another system for my complexion products. But right, right now we're just going to go ahead and um, declutter and i also need to find a place to put my setting sprays the first setting spray that i have here is from elf this is the stay all night micro fine setting mist i've used this i believe once and i want to give it another go because i've heard great things about this so i'm going to go ahead and keep this the setting spray is from dollar tree i'm going to go ahead and keep this too um just in case i decide to do like a makeup under ten dollars kind of look so i want to keep that this i can get rid of this beauty creations flawless um flawless stay setting spray i've used this several times i don't really care too much for it go ahead and let this go i have this giovanni facial prime and setting mist i had this for a while and i don't touch it it's a nice spray i've used it as you guys can see a few times but I feel like this is for like someone with a dry skin, but I don't know. I'm going to put this in the giveaway pal, but I'm also going to maybe circle around and see if I want to keep it. I'm keeping my MAC 
um, Fix Plus. Just right off back, I'm keeping all of my Morphe um, setting mist. Uh, it's not Morphe, but yeah, keeping my Morphe um, setting sprays. Here's another Morphe. This can go, this Elf Hydrating Coconut Mist. I've used quite a bit of this and I don't touch it. I haven't touched it in a, in a long time, so that can go as well. This is a, a spray for Ruby Kisses. This is new. I did haul this to you guys and I do plan on doing a full face of beauty supply store. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this NYX matte finish. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off this Milani Make It Last Setting Mist. I like this spray, but I don't think I'm gonna repurchase it because I think it contributes to my makeup being more oily than it already is. But I see why you guys rave about this. I just feel like it makes my makeup oily, but I do like it. So I do have the mattifying version. Uh, oh, but I, I'm just gonna go ahead and finish it though. I can use this when I'm like doing um, filming videos and just finish that off. But I have the mattifying version. I haven't tried that yet, so I'm gonna keep it. I have another e.l.f. Um, this is the Stay All Day Blue Light Micro Setting Mist. This one was the Stay All Night. Like I said, I'm keeping that one. And then this is the Stay All Day, so I'm gonna keep it that as well. I haven't tried that one. I don't think I have. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Setting Mist. I've used this a few times, but I don't know. I'm not seeing the hype that everybody is referring to so maybe i need to be consistent but i have used it a few times i have two bh cosmetic setting sprays i actually used this hydrating one not too long ago and then this is the mattifying one but i haven't reached for neither one of these so i'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side so this came to me um broken from um ota they did give me a replacement but i was keeping it because I do have one that is not broken and I was keeping it because I would have just took the nozzle off and replaced it. But I I haven't even started using this yet. I'm just gonna go ahead and toss this. I ain't got time. So yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Definitely keeping my Makeup Revolution um, setting spray. Love this stuff. Got this from the beauty supply store. I haven't tried this yet. So I wanna keep that. And then I'm gonna keep this MAC setting spray, the little one. I'm almost done with this. This will be in my empties. My favorite setting spray. This is a nice to dupe to the Morphe setting spray. This is from Magic Collection. You guys know I talk about that all the time. This is a setting spray from Smashbox. And I sprayed this on my hand and it felt tacky, which I I kind of want to give this a go, but I haven't tried this yet. I know I probably picked it up from like Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but for some reason it felt tacky to me, but I don't know. I just haven't reached for it, so I'm going to go ahead and give it away. This is my jam. I had this for a long time. It looks disgusting, but um, I've been trying to save this for a while. I have a little bit left. This was the best thing that e.l.f. ever made. I hate that they stopped making this. This is the e.l.f. Plus matte blotting mist this was so good i just like using this when i'm not wearing makeup i like using this i spray this on my face before i wear my makeup before i apply my makeup i'm sorry y'all this was so good for my oily skin like why did they get rid of this and i don't reach for these at all but i'm going to keep the one that i i'm use i'm working on this one um i can give away okay so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of these the maybelline foundations i picked these up from dollar tree and i haven't even tried these yet picked it up to maybe use as like i don't know highlighter bronzer contour i haven't touched them yet so they're going i'm going to give those away because i'm not using it this is also from dollar tree i'm gonna go ahead and um, give this away as well. I haven't even tried it. So um, I had that for a while this Morphe What is this tinted moisturizer? I don't know why I picked this up. It's hella dark like why Brianna? So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that Um, I haven't tried this yet. This is from Sephora. This is their um, from their clean line and I found it at Marshall's for $4.99 Try it. I'm gonna try it 
so this is from Makeup Revolution. I picked this up from Target. It was on clearance. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. I can't do nothing with that. These Halo Glows. I don't know if you guys remember, I had got these for free. I haven't tried these yet. I'm gonna keep them because I wanna try these on like some family members. But I do wanna keep one and try, them, try one for myself. But yeah, I can, I'm gonna keep these shades for like my grandma and my aunt and see how they like it. But I'm gonna keep all of those um, e.l.f. for now. I decluttered this um, Nikka K foundation. I decided to bring it back, but I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it. Estee Lauder foundation in the color Sandalwood. Not a good color for me. I do wanna try mixing it with some of my other foundations, but I wanna use this alone. I did like the finish. So I'm gonna have to see if I can find another color. But I'm gonna keep it for now and maybe mix it with something. This is the Dior or Backstage Face and Body Foundation. I'm definitely keeping this. I do wanna try another shade in this too, but that's fine for now. I haven't touched my NARS foundation in so long. I need to whip that back out. I'm not that impressed by it. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'll circle back around, but I don't know. at it it's turning i don't know if you guys can see that maybe it'd be sh maybe you gotta shake it up i don't know but anyways this is going in the garbage because y'all already know what this foundation did if y'all remember that video it was hella yellow this foundation i think the formula is really nice when i tell you it felt like nothing was on my face i love the finish i just got to get the right shade when i find the right shade this is going to be my jam i love the concealer so i figured the foundation would be great but once i find the right shade it is on and popping okay <laughs> I have this foundation from the Dollar Tree. This is in the color Dark 11.0. I want to, let me open it first of all. Oh, okay. All right, so I keep that and see how that works. Okay, this is the Nikka K foundation in Chestnut. I'm gonna keep this, I do like this foundation. I'm gonna keep my Maybelline foundation in 355 Coconut. This is from the Beauty Supply Store from Absolute New York. I'm gonna keep this because I wanna try this out. Another foundation from Absolute New York. I love this foundation, but it makes me oily, but I'm gonna keep it because I still wanna use it. Makeup Forever HD Skin 4Y60. This foundation, I do like the finish. I've tried it a few times since I did my video on it. I did go and get another sample, like a different shade, five, I mean, four Y66. I don't know. I, like at first I liked it, but the shade just, it felt like a little off to me. I'm gonna try this one more time. I have this L'Oreal Infallible Concealer in Honey. This is all right. Um, it's okay. You know, it's all right. So um, I'll keep it. I didn't like this concealer from Beauty Creations, so this can go. This is from the Beauty Supply Store, so I can get rid of that. Once again, something I found on clearance. Um, from Make a Revolution for $3.50. Color is way too dark. I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, I haven't touched this in years and this most likely is expired. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, toss this. This is from Wet n Wild. I used to love this concealer. Like I even have a backup as well, which is probably expired too, but I'm gonna toss that. Um, this is a concealer from Ardell. And I'm gonna keep this for, you know, I wanna try it out. I got that from Dollar Tree. Gonna keep all of my Nikka K, found, not foundations, but concealers. They're here somewhere. I don't um, use these underneath my eyes because it makes me crease, but I like using it to cut my crease or carve out my brows. So oh, I'm gonna keep those. I know I have some more. This is the Kiss Concealer in the color Deep Honey, love it, I'm almost finished. That's a good concealer, you guys. If you see it in the beauty supply store, I recommend to try it, or I suggest to try it. Um, I'm gonna get rid of this. 
I didn't really like it. It was too thin. I had high hopes for it because I do like the foundation. But I didn't like this too much. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. Another Kiss concealer that I'm keeping. I don't really care too much for these black opal concealers. And I don't reach for them. So I really wanted to like them. But I don't know. I don't I don't know. I just don't know. I don't like the color. They kind of they're kind of thick like it's it's like a weird consistency but i'm gonna get rid of them i'm gonna declutter this because i i see i can't i can't wear the hydrating version underneath my eyes but this makes me crease um so i'm gonna go ahead and get rid of it i'm keeping these concealers from O studio i want to go ahead and keep these concealers i still can't find the shade that I'm looking for because it's always out of stock even online so yeah I'm gonna keep those this is the Milani contour liquid contour this shade is a little too dark but I'm gonna keep it I want to try it out because th these two items were free I haven't tried this out yet from Ruby Kisses so I'm gonna keep that as well I'm gonna keep this absolute New York like I said keeping my Nika K and I'm gonna keep these black radiance concealer all right primers uh, I'm probably going to keep everything in here. I don't want to reach for this. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because I don't reach for it. And I, I'm always reaching for this e.l.f. grip primer. Yeah, I don't... Ugh, let me see. I'm just going to get rid of both of these because I don't reach for these. This is everything that I'm keeping. This is what I decide to give away. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make the liners, like cut out the liners to um, fit the drawers. And then I'm going to start organizing my blushes and bronzers in here. So I ran out of um, liners. I do have some marble liner. I have to go to the Dollar Tree and get some more but i ran you know dollar tree don't have a lot on the road but i'm gonna have to go back and get some more so i was thinking maybe this last drawer i can put my setting sprays in here i can put those at the bottom because i don't have another spot to put my setting sprays
ahead and toss this because this is broken. This has been broken for a while. And can you imagine if I'm using this, I'm getting ready. I cut myself on that part and I dig my nails on that, get my clothes dirty. Whatever the case may be. So I'm going to have to go to the beauty supply store and repurchase this. They still sell this. And then I decided to declutter this as well. I wanted to keep this. I found this at Dollar Tree. But the, the um, what is this called? The dropper is not working. And then I bought these blushes from Burlington. And I'm I, I'm not going to use these. So I'm going to declutter those. This is how everything turned out. So this is my bronzer and contour drawer. This is the blush drawer. This one is pretty. I like the way this is organized. So um, this is fine. Like I said, nothing is permanent. I still got room to grow, which I don't need no more. And then highlighters. And then I just put the ones that are in um jars uh-uh that's dirty i just put those back there and then like one of them like what's this this one from the beauty supply store is already uh, i think i'm gonna have to get rid of this because that is just too messy it's already getting all over the place i like this um Ooh, oh my god it done fell on the damn on my highlighters look what the got I just got this. God damn it. You're going in the garbage. You just piss me all the way off. Let me clean this up. I'll be back. All right. So can't get that out. Let me know if you guys know a way that I can get this out. Even though I'm going to cover it with contact paper. I guess it don't matter. Got yeah, one more empty drawer. I decided to switch out my organizers that I had up here before. And I put them underneath i'm just putting my foundations in here i decided to keep the l'oreal i'm gonna give it one more try i'm just gonna put my foundations in this drawer but then i'm just gonna put my concealers up here like I don't care about them being too um, organized because they don't get messy anyway. Then I'm going to put my primers up here. I need to clean that. So I decided to put my setting powders and um, my pressed powders in here together. They just in here any old kind of way. I'm getting rid of this Fenty um, powder. I realized that it makes me dry looking and it creases underneath my eyes. So I'm going to get rid of that. I also forgot I had this Ardell concealer. I knew I had another color. I picked them up from Dollar Tree so um, a while ago. So I want to try those. So that turned out good. My main thing was I wanted my products that I reach for the most to be there. I knew I was going to forget some stuff. I did forget like seven highlighters. But I put them in my drawer already. But these are some bronzers from patrick ta that i need to wait these not bronzers these are blushes so this goes in the blush drawer so put those there i would have liked to put those right there but guess what guess what it's going right there i ain't moving that one damn thing the main thing is done this is just what i wanted to do with you guys um this is what it is for now so i have bronzers up here 
um blushes down here one of my highlighters still got way too many i had to add some more because i missed some and i went ahead and moved my setting sprays up here and i decided to keep the giovanni setting spray and then i have an empty drawer at the bottom which i think i'm going to put i don't know i could use that drawer to put my eyebrow stuff or i could use that drawer for my shop mustache palettes and then put my eyebrow stuff in here that makes sense right yeah boom okay then I'm just gonna got some containers I'm gonna use that for my brow stuff so this is what I decided to do for this drawer I have all of my eyebrow stuff mascara um, I have like my putty eye primers in here or just eye primers period so that is the drawer. 